Now the first step is to run Steam as an administrator. So go to Steam, close Steam, exit Steam, and then you can type in Steam in Windows search box. Make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. If that does not work, restart your computer once and then check. Now the next step is to delete crash report exe or crash report exe crash report dll file and installer message file. Now for this you can go to the go to the game installation folder make a right click then click on browse local files it will take it to the game installation folder now before you delete these files create a backup first so over here you can see crash report dot dll and crash report and then installer message so copy all these three files now once you copy all these three files you can paste it to the desktop just create a backup once you have a backup of all these files now you can you can delete it or you can rename it you can delete it and then you can launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you so delete this these files and if you face any any problem after this you can always put these file back to the game installation folder and if that does not work you can even delete this uh, installer message run script vdf file so just below it here you can see this Again, create a backup, copy this, and then paste it to the desktop. And then once you have a backup, now you can delete it, make a right click, and then delete it, and then launch the game. If you face any problem, you can put this file back to the game installation folder and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to roll back graphics driver. Now, if you're running the latest graphic card driver, in that case, you can roll back graphics card driver. Now for this, uh, you can go to NVIDIA website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So you can go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. And then over here on this page, scroll down and then you will see view more versions. And for many users installing this, 566.36 has worked so you can scroll down and find this update here you can see 566. g force game ready driver so 566 g force game ready driver 566.36 click on view and then you can click on download and once the download is complete uh, you can run the exe file so click on download and then run this exe file now when you run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you go for clean installation click on next and once installed you have to restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check now if if that does not work you can even try this 572.83 this has also worked for many players so on the same script, uh, website find 576.2 uh, 572.83 so this this is the one you can install this one and make sure that you go for clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game also try debug mode now to try debug mode uh, you can go to desktop make a right click on the desktops show more option click on nvidia control panel Now, once NVIDIA control panel is opened, at the top left here, you can see help option, click on help, and over here you can see debug mode, put a check on debug mode. So, put a check on debug mode, and then you can launch the game, and then check. Still not working, the next step is to uninstall all mods. So, if you're using mods in that case, you can uninstall it, and then check. Next step is to try power saving mode. Now, for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box, and then go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here if you see power saver mode so so over here in my case i have only balanced but if you see power saver you can select power saver and then check you can even go for balanced and you can try all these one by one and check which one is working fine for you so you can try power saver mode and then check if that does not work the next step is to 
try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make a right click on the game, select properties and go to the general tab. Over here type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash DX12. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this instead of launching the game from Steam uh, you can just make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder make a double click and launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click go to properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working this time you can select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimizations and then hit apply click on ok and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're able to launch the game you can turn off hdr and ray tracing this has worked for many people if you're not able to launch the game you can make a right click over here select manage click on browse local files and then over here you might see this you will see local config file just make a double click and you can find hdr over here hdr and then if this is set to one in that case you can set it to zero and then go to file and then click on save find ray tracing over here and then over here uh, if ray tracing is set to one you can set it to zero and then go to file click on save now once you save it make a right click then go to properties and then put a check on read only hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now also if that does not work turn off also turn off when you turn off the hdr in the game also turn off the hdr windows hdr so you can turn off windows hdr and then launch the game and then check now if you are able to launch the game you can launch the, you can turn off these options in the game settings so go to the game and then go to options and then go to graphics uh, first of all go to display and over here you can see hdr mode if this is on you can turn this off and then go to graphics and find ray tracing if ray tracing is on you can turn off ray tracing and you can even switch to window mode and lower down screen resolution and then check the performance now the next step is to now if after updating windows you are facing the problem in that case you can uninstall the recently installed update so suppose after installing any windows update you are facing the problem you can go to update history then click on uninstall update and whichever update you think is causing the problem you can uninstall that the latest update and then restart your computer and then check if that does not work you can like if you have updated your windows to version 24 h2 in that case you can roll back to old update now for this you can go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here and then go to recovery option and over here you will see go back option here you can see go back if this version isn't working try uninstall uninstalling the latest update so you can click on go back this process will take some time so you can go back and then log into the computer and then check if that does not work rename or delete the config folder and when you rename or delete the config folder saved settings will be lost now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game manage browse local files and here you can see local config file you can just create a backup if you want to create a backup just create a backup and once you have a backup now you can delete this file local config when you delete this config all the saved settings will be lost when you launch the game you have to save the settings once again now still not working rename the save game files now when you rename the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first to rename the save game files you can go to file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open uh, program file 636 now open the steam folder now open user data folder now open your steam id folder now over here you can see 2050650 this is the folder 
and over here uh, you remote win 64 and you will see the save game files so you have to go back and you can rename this complete folder 2050650 make a right click and then you can click first of all create a backup copy this and then create a backup once you have a backup over here now you can make a right click and then you can click on rename dot old and then you can launch the game and then check all the saved settings uh, all the saved game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch now still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is is in this location and then select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to system and uh, yeah system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and then select high performance over here and then you can launch the game still not working disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check if that does not work uh, close other overlay application like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay so close all the overlay application and then check if that does not work do not overclock you can if you have overclocked set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of other overclocking application running close it next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files make a right click on the game go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 so download this x86 file run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install in my case i have already installed so it's telling me to restart my computer just ignore this download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install in my case i have already installed 
So after once installed, you will see a restart option. Make sure that you restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 Two four five seven six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is sixteen gigabyte. I have sixteen gigabyte of RAM, so sixteen into one zero two four. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is. 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from your computer so if your hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer sometimes we have extra usb dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind of third party application or services running close everything everything and all the tasks in task manager in make sure only the stream in the game is running also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So whichever brand you have, if you have Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. Whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS, update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Nothing working. In that case, you can uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive. In that case, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.